Hello and welcome to The Point from Navitent. In this screencast, we'll look at animating a Google Docs presentation. Let's get started. First, you want to log into your Google Apps account and select the Documents tab on the top here. You'll be presented with a list of all of your documents. Remember, we're animating presentations only. So either choose a presentation from the list or choose Create and select Presentation to create a new presentation. I'm going to select a presentation I've previously set up for this screencast. Here you can see the presentation that I've created. It's quite simple with just two slides. Now, I want to animate uh, this title here and this word Navitend here. That's for our company name. So the first step is to select the element that you want to animate. So I have two elements here in my slide. I have the text the point and text Navitend. So I'm going to choose which element I want to animate. Then go to the insert menu and select animation. A new pane will appear on the right side of the screen. From this pane, you can adjust all of the animation options on a particular slide. So for this uh, element, I've, the default option is to create a new, when I choose insert animation, it creates a new animation with the default options, which are fade in and on click. So fade in is the animation type. There are a wide variety to choose in. Fade in will appear um, and kind of like blend into the screen. On click would be the start condition. There are three different start conditions. On click starts the animation when I click the slide. After previous starts the animation after the previous animation completes. And with previous we'll have the animation run simultaneously with the previous animation. I'm going to leave it at on click and I'm also going to leave the default animation type of fade in. To test what this looks like just click play. So here's my slide, and when I click, it fades in. It's exactly what I wanted. So now I can choose Stop and go back to animating. To animate an additional element, I simply select the element and then choose Add Animation on the right. So you can see here's the animation for the point, and here's the animation for Navitend. I can go back and edit the animation for the point simply by selecting it. You can see that element's been selected here, and I can change the options. But again, I want to adjust this one, so I click that element for Navitend. And now I want to, same effect, but I want it to fade in with the previous. So this means that they'll both fade in at the same time. Let's see how that works. If I click, both elements fade in. And now I'll stop it. Now, we can adjust uh, additional slides in the same way. Simply select the slide, select an element, and choose Add Animation. We can also change the slide animation by choosing the slide option on top and selecting the type of transition we'd like. Slide from right. You can see that now when we go through it slides this slide into view. You can reorder animations by selecting them and dragging them. You can delete animations by clicking them and choosing the X delete button on the side. With that, we reach the conclusion of the screencast. You can watch previous issues or subscribe to receive the point via email on our website. The link is below. Have a great week.